Is someone had a good time in here? Or a really bad one? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was me. And it was a bad one. So, um, anyhow... Just, uh, decided I was gonna share another adventure, and, um... Oh, wow. It, it, it honestly feels wrong using the word adventure to talk about this, because it's not good at all. And it's, um... It's something that ought to make you sad, and if it doesn't make you sad, there's something wrong with you. So I had an encounter the other day with the troll, and um, if it had been a big troll who was like mean to me and called me a smurf, I, I would honestly feel happy about it. Or happier, I should say. <laughs> Because that would be a happier thought than what I saw, which was a shrunken troll. And I know I'm probably going to get cancelled for saying that. Like, I mean, as if there was anything left to cancel. <laughs> but, because you're supposed to call a shrunken troll a dwarf. That's, that's the new rule. The definition of a dwarf is someone who calls themselves a dwarf. Which, if you think about it, means that if you identify as a dwarf, you're someone who identifies as someone who identifies. Like, literally no meaning, just a circle. Because if all a dwarf means is someone who calls themselves a dwarf, then, I mean, like, why why even bother calling yourself a dwarf, then? If the only thing it means is that you identify as a dwarf. Of course, a dwarf does have a meaning. What everyone knows is a dwarf is a kind of little people. And that's what dwarf has always meant. It's always meant little people. And that's the reason why some trolls who want to be dwarfs are getting themselves shrunk. And that's actually horrifying. And not just because a big, strong, you know, and a good-looking and a sort of way troll has now become small and weak by comparison. It's also horrifying because if you learn about the magical aspects of shrinking like that, you'll find that there are all sorts of complications. Because even with all of the, I don't know, maybe barely 50 years of Ashwinders experimenting into shrinking trolls, even with that, There are complications. Always. Always some sort of complications. Or at least a lot of the time. Always is an absolute. Absolutes are usually wrong. But there are frequently complications. And the complications can be very painful and very horrifying. One of them being that if you get your body shrunk, it might not all shrink evenly might end up with one organ being a bit too small, another being a bit too big. Your arms might not be exactly the same size. If you think about it, you can probably figure out that there are all sorts of things that can go wrong when you're trying to shrink something that, you know, is like the size of half a mammoth down to something that is about three feet high. And, um, Ashwinders make mistakes, and even if they don't make mistakes, uh, they can have things, unforeseen things happen. And I mean, when the, a perfect operation from the point of view of the Ashwinders would be a tiny little troll that has too much hair growing out of its face. His face or her face, excuse me, I should not say it. Trolls are people. I wish the trolls realized that and didn't feel the need to want to change into something else to be people. But, uh, yeah, they're people, all right. So, anyhow, the rule is that if you encounter one of these shrunken trolls, you're supposed to say that a shrunken troll is totally a real dwarf. And some of them kind of look like dwarves, but they always look a bit off. And I honestly feel really bad for them. Because they have, like, in many cases, like, they've just given up all of the jewels and gems and gold they've ever saved up. Like, everything valuable in their cave. 
and they brought it to the Sashwinder, hoping that they could become a cute little dwarf, and everyone would like them. And here's the, here's the problem with that. Now, if people are going to be nice to you, they're going to be nice to you because you're a person. Not because of how big you are or how small you are. People who actually care about you will care about you for reasons other than what you look like. Someone who only cares about you because of how you look is not your friend. That's someone who wants to use you, probably for something bad. There's a word for things that you only care about because of how they look. They're called objects. You don't want to be an object. Now, I have absolutely no bad feelings towards these trolls. Some trolls are not nice at all, but those are usually not the ones who want to become dwarves. And sometimes they are, but, um... Trolls who want to become dwarves are, I think, we can probably assume the trolls who haven't been left enough. And I'm not saying that to be flippant, you know, um, I'm a worthless orphan. If there's anyone who is a specialist on not being loved, it would be me. I, uh, sometimes I, I, I wonder if I even know what love is, seriously. Like, when you're a worthless orphan surrounded by blue bloods at Hogwarts, you're not, you're not loved, let me tell you. Man, some people be nice to you no matter who you are, but I mean... If there's anyone who knows about not being loved and being bullied by other people and all that kind of stuff, let me tell you. If there's anyone who knows what it's like to not be happy and not feel accepted, you're looking at it right now. Or I should say you're looking at the, the character I'm using in the game. So yeah, I, I, I'm not saying... They weren't loved enough because I think I'm better than they are. I'm saying I know how it feels to not be loved. And I feel really bad for other people are put in that position. But the, the right way to get love is not by hurting yourself. It's not by paying an Ashwinder to shrink you. Ashwinders don't love you. They love the money they get for shrinking you. That's what they love. And they might be really nice while they're trying to get you to agree to be shrunk. But they don't love you. Think about it. If they loved you, they do it for free. How many of them are offering to do that? And you know, the sad thing is, it's possible. And, you know, I'm sure it does happen sometimes. That some people, you know, some trolls, they get shrunk. And then they make friends, maybe with other people who've been shrunk, and they think, Wow! People are nice to me now. It worked! I'm a dwarf! No, that's not how it goes. The kind of people who would be nice to you, the kind of people who are nice enough to be nice to you, those people are nice to you because you're a person. Not because of how you look. So even if you do feel happier after being shrunk, it's not really because you were shrunk. It's because you made friends. And you can make friends without being shrunk. And if anyone tells you that you need to shrink yourself to make friends, that is not your friend. That's someone who's... That's a toxic influence, let me tell you. But it makes me really sad. Because... Some of these trolls who get shrunk are not happy at all after being shrunk. And it's difficult to quantify how many of them it is, because a lot of them don't like to talk about it. I mean, you want to go around advertising, I gave all my life savings to an Ashwinder, and now I hate myself. No, you don't want to advertise that, obviously. You don't want to advertise that. But there are some trolls who give all their money to Ashwinders, hoping to become dwarves, and then afterwards, they just go away and they're never heard from again. And that's really sad. Really, 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 really sad. And it makes me sad. And that brings me to my point. Who stands to benefit from this? Now, 
benefit from that rule because it must be benefiting someone right well I'll tell you what benefits from it it's the Ashwinders they benefit from that rule because if you have to agree that their product such brave heroes Success. We can sell more of it. It's so much easier to get lots and lots and lots of trolls who are unhappy give you their life savings. If you can make Our people feel like they have to say, yeah, the you're a real dwarf and everything you have to And it makes me sad. Because some people, you know, they want to be nice, and so they will say, yeah, you're a real drawer. And you know what they're doing? That's them being nice. It's not that you're a real drawer, it's that they're trying to be nice to you. And I understand that. But you know what? A lot of those people would be nice to you even if you weren't shrunk. I say all of them would be nice to you. The power because anyone who says you're a real drawer and who says that, you know, and doesn't actually care about you, they're not being nice, they're being patronizing. Maybe they want something from you, or maybe they just don't want to deal with it. Maybe they just don't think you're worth being honest with. But yeah, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get people being nice to you, and you're gonna get people patronizing you. What you're not gonna get is people who look at a small troll, you know, maybe with more hair than usual, and are like, yeah, that's totally a real dwarf. No, that, that, that isn't happening. What's happening is people are being nice, and some people are just being patronizing, or just you know just trying to save themselves the trouble by not Come saying it, or by saying the what they think. My master has bestowed upon me. And so I guess I just want to say, you know, if you're a troll, you know, love who you are, because you are one of the biggest, strongest creatures on on God's green earth. And, you know, honestly, I wouldn't... <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was one of you myself. So if I ever meet an Ashwinder who offers to turn me into a troll if I give him all my money, well, one thing he's gonna be disappointed because I don't have any money, but... For another thing, I wouldn't fall for it! Because I know that Ashwinders are very, very bad people. There are some good wizards, you know. I like to imagine that I'm one. But wizards are capable of being bad. And Ashwinder is what we call the bad ones. And Ashwinder wants your money, not probably a good wizard. So just love who you are, seriously. Love who you are. Don't let anyone tell you that you need to get shrunk in order to be real or whatever. You know what? You can be a troll with a lot of dwarf characteristics. Without getting shrunk. No, trolls can live under mountains. And I'm not saying that like just to be facetious. I've seen it. I have been under a mountain. Met a troll there who had lots of dwarf friends. And you know what? None of them said, Hey, you're a dwarf. But they were all nice to him. And they had you know nice time together. Because you know what? Nice people can be nice to you even if you're not exactly like they are. You don't need to become exactly like they are to get people who are actually nice to be nice to you. You don't need to be small to get people who are actually nice to be nice to you. All you need to do is meet the right people. Meet people who will be nice to you and will care about you, as opposed to people who want to take your money. And, yeah. Anyhow, that's just what I wanted to say. Bye.